Solving systems of linear equations by addition. There are three basic steps. Step one is to add to eliminate one variable. Step number two, solve for the remaining variable. Step number three, substitute back into either original equation and solve. So let's do an example. We have 5x minus y equals negative 10, 3x plus y equals 2. So what is step number one? It tells us to add the two equations together to eliminate one variable. Okay, so let's add these two equations together. 5x plus 3x is 8x. Negative y plus y is 0. Negative 10 plus 2 is negative 8. Step number 2 says solve for the remaining variable, so we want to solve for x. Divide both sides by 8. These 8's cancel. We have x equals negative 1. Step number 3 says to substitute back into either original equation and solve. Okay, so we need to take this x equals negative 1 and substitute it back into either this equation or this equation. Let's just take the second equation. 3x plus y equals 2. We substitute x equals negative 1 and for the x here have negative 1 plus y equals 2. 3 times negative 1 is negative 3 plus y equals 2. Add 3 to both sides we get y equals 5. So our solution is negative 1, 5. Let's try another example. Here we have 3x plus 7y equals negative 34 and 5x plus 2y equals 11. This one's not quite as easy. If we add these together, we would have 3x plus 5x, that's 8x. So we don't eliminate the x variable. We have 7y plus 2y equals 9y, so the y's don't drop out. So what do we what do we do here? Well, what we do is we have to multiply one or both of the equations by something so that when we add the equations together, one of the variables is eliminated. All right, so, so let me rewrite these equations. I have 3x plus 7y equals negative 34 and 5x plus 2y equals 11. So what we do is we look for the least common multiple of either the x terms or the y terms. Okay, let's just take the x terms. We look at the coefficients. The coefficient of this x term is 3. In the second equation, the coefficient of the x term is 5. So what's the least common multiple of 3 and 5? Well, that's 15. So let's remember that. Least common multiple is 15. So what we want to do is multiply the first equation by 5. That'll give us 5 times 3 is 15. Multiply the second equation by negative 3, because negative 3 times 5 is negative 15. So if we have positive 15 and negative 15 here, when we add the two equations, the x term will drop out. So let's do that. Let's, let's take this first equation and multiply by 5, okay? So we have 5 times 3x is 15x, 5 times 7y is 35y, 5 times negative 34 is negative 170. Now let's take the second equation. We have negative 3 times 5x, negative 15x, negative 3 times 2y is negative 6y, negative 3 times 11 is negative 33. Now let's add these two equations together. We have 15x plus negative 15x, so the x drops out. 
we have 35y minus 6y, which is 29y. And we have negative 170 plus negative 33. That's going to be negative 203. Now we solve for y, so we divide both sides by 29. We have y equals, let's bring up our calculator for this. Uh, we have 203 divided by 29 is 7. So negative divided by positive is a negative, so we have negative 7. Okay, so that's our y term. So now we substitute this y back into either equation and solve for x. So let's uh, let's take the um, let's take the second equation here. We could take either one, but I'm just going to choose the second one. So the second equation is 5x plus 2y equals 11. 5x plus 2. Whoops. Let me erase that. Five x plus two, and we substitute y equals negative seven for our y equals eleven. We want to solve for x. We have five x minus fourteen. Two times negative seven is negative fourteen. Equals eleven. We want to add fourteen, but to both sides of the equation. So we have five x equals fourteen plus eleven is twenty-five. Divide both sides by 5. These 5's cancel. We have x equals 25 divided by 5, which is 5. So our solution is x equals 5, y equals negative 7. I hope that helps.